Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is the child. Uh, this is having a new understanding about things, weighing your options up uh, and seeing things from a brand new perspective, really, uh, with this child card. And uh, you've got the uh, Illumination card. So there you go again, uh, you know, looking at things from a different point of view and having a brand new idea, having a brand new goal, starting something brand new. This could even be the beginning of a, a new sexual relationship because the um, Ace of Fire is usually about something brand new coming in, uh, you know, very, very physical uh, relationship coming in. You've got the child above it, so it looks like it is going to be something brand new. Uh, you know, this is about, um, you know, messages as well coming in for you. Um, you know, and uh, this could be um, starting the beginning of a brand new relationship. You've got the eight of C's over here. So you've walked away from something really, really difficult. This is the eight of um, cups. You've left behind that, uh, you know, it's all finished. Uh, you can see all these wheels are dead or beached on the uh, water. There's no water around them. So it was, uh, you know, something where there was no emotional fulfillment in that particular relationship. The sky is so dark, so, you know, it was a, a, a time, that a very dark time in your life, and it seems like you've walked away from it into something brand new, and you're going to start something new over here with both these child as well as this ace of uh, wands. Now, in the past, you've got the compassion card over here, which is a three of cups. Uh, so um, it's got a Mercury sitting in Cancer over here. Um, so maybe you were dealing with some kind of family issue as well with this particular card. Um, you know, you, and you, also you could have been dealing, uh, you know, this is uh, three of cups. Um, you've been uh, supported by people that uh, are like-minded. And, uh, you know, people that are friends of yours uh, trying to help you get through this difficult situation. You've got the Ace of Wands, um, Ace of uh, Swords over here. So it looks like you've cut the past out. Uh, something came to light. You've got the Realization card over here. And you've got a brand new understanding. So whatever that information was that came, in, it brought big changes in your life. Uh, and it's brought in a lot of illumination and, uh, you know, uh, a lot of clarity coming in for you in this past now, going into the future, you've got the Ace of Manifestation here. So a lot of Aces going on, so you're be making brand new beginnings, and you've got that Child card over here. So it looks like you've ended a cycle completely now, and you are on the, on the road to starting something brand new. So you are trying to manifest a relationship here with that Ace of um, Pentacles or the Ace of Earth. And, it, you know, you want something stable. It seems like, you know... Um, you want to find financial stability as well as material stability. Uh, and it looks like you want something long term as well with that ace of um, earth. And you're trying to manifest that in the moment. And whatever you're going to be manifesting, you've got the nine of uh, seas, which is the, the nine of cups. The wish is going to be fulfilled over here. You've got Jupiter here in um, Pisces. Um, so a lot of a love, a lot of luck, uh, you know, a lot of happiness and joy coming in with this. And uh, like I said, it's the wish fulfillment card. So whatever you've set your mind on or whomever you've set your mind on, it looks like they're going to be coming your way and you are making brand new beginnings. You've got three aces over here, so it's brand new starts to things, but it's also going to bring in that wish fulfillment for you. So, uh, you know, having gone gotten away from a very, very difficult situation with that depletion card and those black skies, it looks like it's all going to turn around for you and the sun's coming up again. So, uh, you know, moving in a very, very positive direction and a lot of happiness coming in as well. So those are the energies for those two weeks. Right, so I'm going to use the Jane Austen Tarot for the main read. And uh, I have shuffled this deck. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so you've got the 10, uh, the Wheel of Fortune coming in. So meeting a lot more people, ending an old cycle, uh, you know, getting out yourself out there. And things and events are going to bring you back into, um, you know, meeting people. So where you've isolated yourself, it looks like things are about to change. Big changes are about to happen. This is the... Um, a major arcana card, and uh, you can see meeting a lot of people. So you might be attending some social events as well, uh, where you get to meet, 
you know, maybe your soulmate. Um, you've got the Lady of Coins over here that's happening with you and the Maiden of Teacups here. So it looks like, you know, you have been very, very focused on your career uh, and uh, your work situation. And, you know, you've been, uh, you know, getting to know yourself again. Uh, you've got the Maiden of Teacups over here, spending a lot of time by yourself, but enjoying your own company. And maybe you've even found yourself a new hobby. Uh, and, you know, whatever you're doing, you're really, um, you know, giving it your own. Uh, you've come into your own emotionally. You're, um, you're much more stable. And, you know, you're not crying about things. Uh, uh, it looks like, um, you know, uh, you're getting over a very, very difficult situation, and you're doing it quite successfully as well. You've got the two of candlesticks. It seems like in the past you've made some kind of decision on how to move forward. There seems to be being people, uh, somebody that's given you some good uh, advice and a lot of clarity coming to light over here. And you've got the knife over here, so it looks like you've cut out that past as well and have decided to move forward. So where the two of uh, candlesticks is the two of rods, you've made a decision and you've left the past behind and moving forward. And you've got the death card. You can see you've definitely severed ties with the past. You've ended it. You've mourned the loss of the past and now you have moved forward. The death card is about ending things completely and moving forward. Now you've got the stars card over here. So there's some new goal that you have in mind, uh, a new vision, and it looks like there's a lot of inspiration coming for you. And you are looking to the future. You're making plans for the future. There's a lot of hope there. Now going into the future, you've got the nine of coins over here. So this is about being you know, financially independent, enjoying the, your success, being focused on your work and uh, reaping the rewards of that hard work. So you can sit back and relax and enjoy whatever has been coming to you. So there's a lot of independence that has come in after you've gone through this particular, uh, you know, breakup or um, uh, where you've separated from this particular person. And you're coming into your own. Now you've got the two of quills over here. So you have to make a decision about something uh, soon you are making trying to make a decision uh you know there's still some things that have not been revealed you've got that uh, veil over this uh, woman's face and you are trying to get some advice on how, how to move forward so uh you're trying to make decisions this could even be a legal decision that you're facing uh maybe uh you know you haven't seen everything yet and maybe this is why you haven't made that decision just yet uh, and you're asking people for some advice and on, on how to proceed so it could be a legal decision as well, uh, a legal events coming in. You're feeling a bit stuck over there with that hangman energy uh, and, uh, you know, uh, as though you can't really get out of this particular situation. So there might have been legal implications to the end of that relationship and there's some kind of decision that you have to make. Uh, but you are feeling a bit stuck. The energy does feel a bit stuck. Now, that relationship uh, was a very toxic relationship. You've got the Five of Quills, which is the Five of Swords, where there was a lot of uh, drama and uh, a lot of vindictive behavior there was a lot of sneaky behavior maybe this uh, person caused uh, you know a lot of problems uh, for you um, they isolated you they criticized you quite a bit and you're scared about getting back into that kind of relationship again now going into the future you've got the ten of coins over here uh, the high priestess and the fool so the ten of coins is ending off a relationship so this could have well been a divorce where you're shared material assets together and that situation is over uh, whatever's happened is now finished and done and you're about to move forward now it looks like you know there is going to be some money coming in with that ten of coins and maybe this is the legal decision you might be waiting for at this particular moment um, for the settlement to come in after the divorce or some kind of legal separation that you've had. You've got the high priestess over here, which says, you know, uh, rely on your intuition to move forward. Uh, but this is also being, uh, you know, spending time alone. And make sure you do your research about everything that you do. Uh, um, look, make sure that you know exactly, uh, you know, what you want from a legal standpoint. Uh, if you uh, need legal advice, make sure that you are seeking it. Uh, also, the high priestess says that things have not quite been revealed to you. So there are some secrets that are being kept. And even here with this uh, two of quills, you can see this woman's got that veil. So secrets not being revealed. Things have not come to light just yet. You need to just wait as well. This is about a card about d divine timing. Uh, and uh, all that information will be revealed to you soon. And then you make a brand new start. It looks like you're going to, uh, you know, once all this has happened, uh, it looks like, you know, once the legal decision is made, it looks like once you have some kind of payoff coming to you, uh, it looks like you're going to be moving forward uh, to a more stable situation and starting brand new again, leaving the past behind. You can see she's walking forward and moving on with that full card. 
So you are making a brand new start, very independent of anybody. Um, at the moment, there doesn't seem to be, um, you know, a particular relationship coming in. You're just getting over things that really happened, um, and you are starting to move forward. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Archangel Power Tarot. And the first card is Epiphany, and this says, Joy through spiritual growth. Uh, be the light to our others' answers that come through meditation. So things are starting to come to light. It seems like you are looking to the past to try and discover what happened. Uh, you know, uh, maybe, um, you know, things were hidden and you are delving into it. You are digging into, uh, you know, things uh, to try and find the answers and solutions. But also with this, the Hermit card, it's about spending a lot of time by yourself uh, and going through a lot of spiritual growth. And you've got the three of Raphael over here, which says reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships. So maybe this is about getting together with friends, not isolating yourself from anybody else. There seems like, you know, uh, whatever legal decision you're waiting for is going to be very, very um, fortunate for you. Um, you've got that ten of coins, which really says money coming in. So there's going to be a celebration, um, you know, the... It is a happy outcome for you in that sense that you are going to get something out of that uh, particular situation. So really winning in, in that legal situation, but also getting together. You need to get together with friends and, uh, you know, share your feelings with them. Uh, don't isolate yourself. Then you've got the Eight of Ariel, which says, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting uh, additional um, education or training. So it looks like maybe, you know, um, after all of this has happened, you're going to be focusing on your career. You might be starting, uh, you know, studying. Uh, with a high priestess, it's also about uh, maybe uh, going into some kind of um, studying uh, or a learning course or maybe, uh, you know, d um, improving your skill set or some education involved. With the high priestess, she's the keeper of secrets, she's the keeper of knowledge. So it does imply with that eight of Ariel that you might be taking on some uh, extra learning or further education as well uh, and uh, growing in that kind of way. Uh, it looks like, you know, you're going to be focused more on spending time with friends um, and recovering from this particular situation uh, and uh, not just meeting anybody yet, but actually learning how to uh, recover and uh, love yourself again. Uh, and, um, you know, and you're enjoying, you're going to be achieve success with that nine of coins. And, uh, you know, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor at this particular moment. So uh, get out there, meet people with that wheel of fortune uh, and, you know, open your social sphere, really. It's even telling you that with that three of uh, Raphael. Get out there, make some friends first before you jump into a relationship uh, and, um, you know, develop your own independence uh, and then uh, look for something else after that, uh, looking for a relationship after that, really. Uh, so um, I hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.